Welcome to Natural Horsemanship Solutions. I'm Lindsay Forkin, and this is Laura and Paul we have here today. And they're going to show you how to solve girthy behavior. So the first step to solving girthy behavior is to making sure that your horse is okay with the saddle pad and the saddle going on first. So what we're going to see here is Laura's putting the saddle pad on and off pole. And if he was to be irritated or show any signs of aggression, she would wait for him to be perfectly still and gentle, and then take it off to reward him. So she's going to do this from both sides, where she'll put the saddle pad on, make sure that he's standing nice and still. And if he wasn't okay with the saddle pad going on and off like this, then she would need to practice putting the saddle pad on and off until he was able to stand nice and still before moving on to the next step. So now she's putting her sheepskin half pad on, and he stood nice and still. She's going to double check and throw it on again, and then she's going to do that from both sides. We want to make sure that our horse is nice and balanced, that we can do everything from both sides. And you can see Paul is standing nice and still. He's not making any mean faces or pinning his ears. So she can put the half pad on and leave it in place, and then progress to the next step, which is grabbing the saddle. So if your horse was showing any mean faces, you wouldn't want to go after them and try to hit them or anything like that. But instead, just be on guard that they might try to turn and nip and have your elbow ready to flap. And a little later on in this video, you'll see that with Laura when she goes to uh, do up the girth. She'll be ready to do that. So now she's just going to show pull the saddle before putting it on. It's important that you try not to be sneaky with your horse. You want your horse to understand what it is you're going to do when you have to sneak around your horse. And then that's when you betray a little bit of the trust. You want to make sure the horse knows what's coming. And you can see he's standing nice and still for Laura. She doesn't have him tied or cross-tied, and he's just standing nice and still. So she gave him a little treat there as a little bit of reward. And now she's going to get ready with the girth. And so all this time we're watching to see if Paul shows any signs of anxiety or any signs of discomfort or that he's going to make any mean faces, pinning his ears, or making any movement to nip. And if we notice that, we would just have to stay in the current spot, working on the same place until he was going to be nice and still. Because you never want to progress to the next step until the horse is completely okay with whatever it is you're doing before. It's kind of like how you wouldn't get on the horse and decide to start with canter. You want to make sure that first you can walk and halt, and then you want to make sure you can trot, and then eventually you get to the canter. So it's the same thing when it comes to the saddle and the girth. You first make sure you can put on the saddle pads nice and quietly, and then you make sure you can do up the saddle, and then you can make sure you can attach the girth, and the horse is going to stand perfectly still. And you want to address the anxiety when it first shows up. You don't want to breeze through all of these little steps first and then be faced with a horse that's trying to really strike out at you or be really aggressive when it comes to the girth. So now Laura's going to lift the girth up against Paul's belly. and You can see he's starting to try to bite the girth on the other side, so she's just going to hold it until he stops. And then when she stops, you can see she lowered the girth and she's going to start over. So what we're trying to show Paul is that if he stands still, he's going to get rewarded for that by having the girth go down a little bit, and then she'll start over. So we're trying to show him that we're not going to progress to a level with the girth until he's ready, and that he can feel okay making nice faces and being pleasant, because we're not going to progress until he's ready. If you just ignore that and you were to tighten up the girth even more, then you would provoke him to the point of actually biting you. So that's why we, we raise the girth up a little bit. We wait for him to make a nice face, and then we reward him by releasing it a little bit. So you can see when he goes to turn and makes a face like he's going to nip Laura, she gets her elbow out, and you'll see that she'll flap her elbow when he comes into her space there. But when he's nice and gentle, he gets nice rubs. And so you can see she's pulling up on the girth, waiting for him to be still and give a nice face, and then she lowers it down. So we're just going to zoom in here a little bit and show you 
that she pulls up on the girth, so it's pressing against his belly, and she holds it, waits for him to make a nice face, and then she releases it down again a little bit. And then she brings it back up again, and when she gets to the point where he doesn't make any faces, she can just pull it up and he's completely pleasant, then she can pop the girth into place and leave it at that level of tightness. So you can see there she left it in that hole, and that's because when she brought the girth up, he didn't make any mean faces, no signs of discomfort, and he was okay. So now you can see she's practicing again, and he started to make a move like he was going to come into her space there, so she's just flapping her elbow. So that way if he comes into your space, he could get bopped by the elbow flapping up and down, but we're not going after him. We're not going to go hit him in the face or push on him or anything like that because horses don't really understand punishment. But he does understand comfort and discomfort. And so if he understands, if I go to make a nip on Laura, I'm going to get bopped in the face because she's flapping her elbow. But if I stay in this little zone with my, my head facing forward, then it's comfortable. And you can see there he got a treat because she pulled up on the girth and he made no mean faces at all. So then he got a bit of reward. So, but if he makes a turn in like that where he makes a turn to look at Laura, he's thinking about nipping, you can see the ears go back a little bit. He's not going to get any treat. Instead, the release is just going to be that she'll go down a little bit on the girth and then start over again. And as long as he keeps coming into her space like that, he won't get rewarded with a treat, nothing that good. But when he does stop making the face, the pressure will go down. And you can see that Laura goes up on the girth, and then she waits for him to be still. And there you can see he didn't make any faces or anything, so she, he got a cookie. And then she can pop the girth into place. So you can see again, she's just going up and down, and he's not making any faces at all. So he gets another tree. And she's going to pop it in the place. Now, even once you've got your girth done up, you can still ask your horse to be tolerant by pulling on the girth a little bit and just getting your horse to be more tolerant of that pressure on their belly. So you can see she pulled there. He went to go nip, but she's still holding pressure with the other hand. So she holds the girth. If he goes to make faces, she waits, and then she releases. So she pulls the girth again. He didn't make any faces this time. So she took her hand away to reward him. Now she pulls on the girth again, and he's not making any faces. All right now. So he's got lots of praise, and he can have a cookie too.